This video is for people who skip core because they're just way too busy to fit it in. People like me. I'm basically making this video for myself. So here's what you're gonna need to do this routine. Number one, five minutes of time. It's literally five minutes. You can make time for this. You have no excuses at all. For example, I sometimes do this while I'm cooking to make sure that I actually do it. You can do this too. And number two, you're gonna need a soft surface because doing core on a hardwood floor, not a good idea. I use this yoga mat. You can do that too. Or you can use a towel. You can even use grass if it doesn't make you too itchy. It makes me itchy though, I'm gonna go back inside. But don't use a bed, it's just a little bit too soft. Okay, so there's three rules. No quitting, no complaining, and if you get through the whole thing, it's a guaranteed PB. So make sure you comment below how you go, but I'm ready to just get ready. Starting with the planks. And I know what you're thinking. Hey Connor, planks aren't really that hard, are they? Well, no, but it's still in the first minute of five, so give me a break, will ya? Planks are a great way to build some core strength, especially for runners. Fun fact, sausage dogs have the strongest core of any mammal in the world because they basically plank their entire life. This is great, no fatigue at all. So let's take it up a notch, eh? Minute number two, the inchworm. The key for this one is to go as slow as possible. We wanna do two repetitions in this one minute block. Or you can do four, which is every 15 seconds. That's fine too. They both hurt just as badly. If you're not feeling this, then you're nuts, okay? Three minutes to go. Single arm plank. This is not so bad really, because I, oh man, I'm finding it really hard to talk. Anti-rotational strength is kind of important with running. Your core has to work quite hard when you're running to resist the forces of your lower body and your upper body as they step from one side to another. This exercise really takes this anti-rotational core strength okay. to the max. Minute three. Single arm plank. <sighs> Minute four. Minute four. Okay, it's like the classic bird dog, but with a slight twist. You see how I have my knee off the ground? Yep, this is what elite athletes do. Can I just say that the bird dog absolutely slaps, and when you take that knee off the ground, it makes it even better, especially in minute four of this routine. And like I mentioned at the start, do not cheat. If that knee touches the floor, you're gonna lose all of your core gains straight away. So harden the fuck up and get it done. Alright, last minute. Call this one the Spider-Man. So it kind of reminds me a little bit more of the chameleon. I actually think going backwards is harder. This kind of combines all of the previous exercises together. And as you can see, after five minutes, something that doesn't seem too difficult at the start becomes almost impossible. Like it's crazy that chameleons are able to walk around like this all day long and not even get tired. It's pretty amazing, right? Oh, I think that was a minute. I don't know. There you go. All right. I'm fucking done. Five minutes of core. Let me know how you go in the comments below. See you next time. Peace. Oh, and if you want to see me do the full thing, I've put a link in the description below. See you later.